Welcome back guys to another session on data network. For today's class, we'll be considering metropolitan area network and my name still remains Faith Uso. Now the objective of today's lesson is that students should be able to understand what a metropolitan area network is. Students should be able to explain how a metropolitan area network works. Students should be able to give examples of metropolitan area network and students should be able to state advantages and disadvantages of Metropolitan Area Network. Now let's get started. We we'll start with an introduction to Metropolitan Area Network. A Metropolitan Area Network, also known as MAN, is similar to a local area network but spans an entire city or campus. Metropolitan Area Networks are formed by connecting multiple lands, hence they are bigger than land. You connect so many lands together to form a metropolitan area network. Now, metropolitan area networks are extremely efficient and they provide fast communication via high speed carriers such as fiber optic cables. Now, what is a metropolitan area network? A metropolitan area network is a network that interconnects users with computer resources in a geographic area larger than a local area network. A metropolitan area network is ideal for many kinds of network users because it's a medium-sized network. Metropolitan area network usually involves connection of high-speed fiber optic wires to boost data transfer speed. Now, how does a metropolitan area network work? A metropolitan area network is typically established by using fiber optics wires and various switches and routers. The switches act as an active port that both manages and handles the filtering of data that will typically be transmitted over the network in the form of frames. The router helps to establish which parts should be taken for the various data packets that are being transmitted. Now the switches handles the data or filters the data while the router determines which part the data should take. Now examples of metropolitan area networks are in a large university, can be applied in a very large university, can be used in a large hospital, and also a cable TV network that creates a metropolitan area network to enable users in a city to have access to various stations on the network. Advantage of a metropolitan area network is that one, it gives good efficiency of data to sending local emails and three high speed and local area networks for sharing of the internet is enabled five conversion from local area network to man is easy and number six there's high security in metropolitan area network now the advantage of metropolitan area network is that one it is difficult to manage two internet speed difference three hackers attack for technical staff is required to set it up and five more wires will be needed. So far, we've said that a metropolitan area network is similar to a local area network, but it spans an entire city or campus. Metropolitan area networks are formed by connecting multiple lands, hence they are bigger than a local area network. Now, a metropolitan area network is typically established by using optical fibers and various switches and routers. Example of a metropolitan area network is that it can be found in a large university, a large hospital, and with a cable TV. Now our take-home exercises are 1. What is a metropolitan area network? 2. How does a metropolitan area network work? 3. Give three advantages and disadvantages of a metropolitan area network. So that will be the end of the class. Thank you for staying with us.